we want the list picker after picking to actually pull the data out of the DB and display it in our note area. Well, that's pretty straightforward to do. All we need to do is go to the uh, note box and grab the set note text. Set note box text. Now we also want to set that um, title box to the title of the note. So we're going to grab the set title box. And what do we want to set it to? Well, we want to set the note box text to, once again, grab the tiny DB, get value. And I'm going to copy and paste that because I want to do it twice. We're going to set the note box text to, actually, we're not going to use that there. Apologize. We're going to set the note box text to the value of whatever was picked in the list picker. So I'm going to go back to list picker because remember the list picker um, has loaded into it our note titles, which are also our tags for the DB. So we're going to look, get the list picker selection and place that in there. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to put the list picker selection, just as an easy way to do it, right into the title box text. So when the list picker is selected, um, whichever item, which is also a tag, in the list picker is selected, that's placed in the title box text, and also the note box text pulls that text from the tiny DB and places it in that note box. To all intents and purposes, then, we just loaded a note from the tiny DB into the interface. Okay, so at this point, everything is pretty darn uh, functional. Um, however, you should always debug to see how things actually work. And you'll see we have a couple problems on screen right now. Uh, the first thing we need to do, of course, is we have that new note button. Um, when the new note button is clicked, it needs to do something as well. Basically, all that the new note button is going to do is what these two blocks right here do, and that's clear the screen for new uh, material to be placed in. Um, so we can uh, select these items, copy, paste, copy, paste. Um, and now those buttons will do exactly uh, what they um, say on the 10. They'll set you up for a new note. All right, so let's connect this to our emulator and see what happens. The first thing we get when we fire this up in the, in the emulator is a, an error. And it's an error I knew was going to come up, but I want us to do a little bit of debugging here. Um, the screen tried to initialize, and it said bad arguments to elements. You know, the operation elements cannot accept the arguments empty string. Uh, and so we're like, well, crap, I don't know what that means, I don't know what's going on. Our key, we actually had a clue there in the term elements, could not accept an empty string. Because we know what happened here when the screen initialized, elements, here is our clue. So for some reason, the elements couldn't take an empty string. So why was this empty? Didn't we set the global to the value of note uh, titles? Remember, this is a list. Basically, we tried to plug um, an apple, uh, apples and oranges uh, together. Uh, this need to be made into a list. In the same way that we made it a list initially, we have to make it a, a list when we initialize it with the data. Okay, so this time we didn't get the error when it loaded up. We still have one major bug in our program. It will become obvious here uh, in just a moment. But let's test it. We're going to click in um, the note here, and uh, we're going to say that this first note is test. And we're going to say this is typing with my mouse, man. Not quite, uh, quite the texting speed. This is a test. And then we're going to, I want to back that up. We're going to say save the note. So I did that save. How do we know? Well, if it's saved, then um, there should be an element now um, that we can see. 
So let's go load. Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, it is. The load note. And we see here uh, the element test. Remember, that was the, the tag we used. If we click it, um, hey, it loaded our note and our tag, just like we knew it would, because that's what we put in the blocks in the B in behind. So we're going to um, alter this here a little bit. We're going to add a period, and we're going to say a real test. Here's where we'll start to see some insanity. So we changed our note. Uh, now we're going to uh, save that note. So we saved a note. So we're going to load the note. Oh my gosh, there's no sanity check. Every time we do this, our instructions back here simply say that when you click the save button, you save that um, title into there. And so it's always going to be uh, in that um, variable as many times as we click that save button. So that's a real a, a kind of a bug, a, a lack of functionality is really going to break down. So we need some sort of logic to keep um, this from happening, add items to list, unless that item does not exist in that list. If that note title exists in, um, if the title box text exists in uh, note titles, we don't want to store it there. So it's really straightforward how we do that. Um, I'm going to pull out uh, these blocks here. What we need is some control blocks. And this is a really uh, quick and dirty way to do this. There's some really graceful ways you could do it, but we're going to just use an if else. We'll plug in is if else. If else simply says that if a certain test, if a certain set of uh, circumstances are true, then do a certain thing. Otherwise, do this other thing. Well, here's kind of the test we want. If. Um, a certain string exists in this list, then don't do something. Otherwise, do something. So, um, what we need to do is build the test first. Now, the list built in blocks gives us a really convenient uh, true false uh, statement um, because every test has going to have to evaluate uh, to true false. So, we can use the is in list. So we're going to say is in list. Well, if what is in list? If this title box text, that's the thing, is in this list. So I'm going to copy that here from. If in the note titles list, then what do we want it to do? We don't want it to do anything except store. We still want it to store the data, but we don't want it to store that title box text as a tag. So we're going to leave that blank. So we're going to say if it exists, then don't do anything. Drag this up here. If it's not in the list, then, which is the else do, then add the item to the list. So a really quick and dirty, I just messed up my uh, variable there. So a real quick, really quick and dirty way that we've added uh, a sanity check to our tagging system, uh, which says um, store the um, uh, title box text as a tag. So we went ahead and stored the information. Now, um, is that title box text in the note title list? Um, yes, it is. Then don't do anything. We left that blank. Uh, no, it's not in the list. Well, then add it to the list and then store that note titles into the TinyDB so we can retrieve it later. So let's test our app again. So here's our freshly debugged application. And we're going to say test. I'm going to say this is a test. And we're going to save that note. Then we are going to say milk. And we're going to say buy some. Note to ourselves to buy some milk because we're out. Save that. Then we're going to say John. Call him. Oops. 
I want that to be our tag. We're going to say John. Call. And we're going to say save the note. Now, load note. We see test, milk, John. There's another little bug here. You can see that there is a blank area up here. This is actually an element. Um, we could get rid of that. We're not going to worry about that for this tutorial. So, to load uh, the milk uh, note, we click it and it says milk, buy some. Uh, we can load a different note. Uh, John uh, says, John, call him. Uh, we want to type a new note. We click that new note. It just clears those fields and allows us to enter our own text in there. Now, um, the bug that we uh, just uh, removed, which was uh, the test uh, being repeated, we're going to change this and say blah, 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 and add some information. We save the note. Now when we click load note, there's still just one test, but it has the new information in it. All right. Guys, have fun. There is a lot of directions you could go from here. You could make this pretty, for one thing, instead of ugly as sin. Um, you could also uh, make it cool. You could add uh, time stamp, uh, the number of times it had been edited. Um, you could do a lot of different things. But this is a good launching point for data persistence and using TinyDB in a simple tag system. Good luck, guys and gals, and have fun.